Stick Fighting Days by Olufemi Terry is a compelling short story that explores themes of identity, masculinity, and the legacy of colonialism in contemporary African society. Set in an unnamed West African country, the story follows the lives of two young men, Kola and Sanda, as they navigate the complexities of growing up in a society where traditional values clash with the pressures of modernity. The story is told from the perspective of Kola, who is struggling to find his place in the world. He is torn between his desire to conform to traditional gender roles and his fascination with modern technology and pop culture. Kola's conflict is representative of the broader tension between tradition and modernity that characterizes much of contemporary African society. At the heart of Kola's struggle is his relationship with Sanda, his childhood friend and stick-fighting partner. Sanda is a skilled fighter and embodies the traditional ideals of masculinity that Kola is trying to reconcile with his own desires. Throughout the story, Kola grapples with his feelings for Sanda, which are simultaneously rooted in admiration and jealousy. The theme of masculinity is central to the story and Terry uses stick fighting as a metaphor for the complex power dynamics at play between men in African society. Stick fighting is a traditional sport that has been passed down through generations, and it is symbolic of the physical and emotional struggles that men must endure in order to prove themselves worthy of respect and admiration. However, the story also suggests that these traditional ideals of masculinity are increasingly at odds with the demands of modern society. Kola's fascination with technology and pop culture is indicative of the ways in which Western values and consumerism have permeated African culture, challenging traditional ways of life. Terry's use of language is particularly striking in this story. He employs a mix of standard English and West African pidgin, which reflects the hybrid nature of contemporary African culture. The use of pidgin also serves to give the story a sense of authenticity, as it is a language that is widely spoken throughout the region. Throughout the story, Terry also makes use of vivid imagery to evoke the sights, sounds, and smells of West Africa. The descriptions of the stick fighting matches are particularly vivid, with Terry using sensory details to transport the reader to the heart of the action. The story's ending is both poignant and open ended. After Sanda is injured in a stick fighting match, Kola realizes that his friend's traditional ideals of masculinity have come at a great cost. The final image of Kola watching Sanda's blood mix with the dust of the arena is a powerful symbol of the physical and emotional toll that these traditional gender roles can take on African men. Overall, Stick Fighting Days is a rich and nuanced exploration of the complexities of contemporary African society. Through the story of Kola and Sanda, Terry highlights the ways in which traditional values and modernity are in constant conflict, and the toll that this conflict can take on individuals and communities. With its vivid language, complex characters, and thought-provoking themes, Stick Fighting Days is a must-read for anyone interested in contemporary African literature.